Hey, it's Matt. Today, I want to talk about the security scanner in Replit. And this is fundamentally different from other security products out there. This is the only solution that I know of that actually scans all of the files in your project directory and looks for actual security vulnerabilities and lets you visualize them and then analyze them with agent. We partnered with the team at Semgrep to build this, but I'm going to show you how it works. So in front of me, I have an agent project. I built this just with natural language, right? And it just lets you find the name of new AI models and like copy them because that's hard to do for some reason. Um, so I deployed this at model name dot AI. But, you know, one thing before you deploy AI generated projects, projects where you have a lot of AI code, you might want to check them and make sure they're secure. So we have this new security scan feature and you can access this from the deployments pane or you can go to the security scanner dialog. Um, and what it does is actually looks over all the files in your project. So you can see I have um, my normal project structure and then this insecure file uh, there in my directory. And then it returns the result. And it actually, this is important, it explains to you why the file is insecure. So in this instance, um, this insecure file has raw SQL. So if you, if you look at the file, SQL is just a way of, <clears throat> excuse me, selecting results from a database. When we build apps with agent by default, we do not use this method of selecting data from a database because it's insecure. But I accidentally put this file on my accidentally put this file in my project and you can see we caught that with the security scanner. Now the cool part is that we can fix this with agent just by clicking a button. And what this does is actually tells agent all of the details um, of the uh, kind of impacted file and how it can clean that up. So agent agent's going to make a checkpoint, and then it's going to say, oh, hey, you know, like, yeah, this is definitely an insecure file and it'll probably change the SQL um, to uh, properly select from our database. So um, it's going to remove this file. And it actually explains, hey, someone could pass these, uh, <laughs> it could pass like malicious code, basically, right? Like what we're doing here, like we can actually talk about SQL injection a little bit. Select uh, star from users where ID equals ID. What someone could do is send a query to your database that says ID equals one and drop the user's table. Now you have no users, right? And so that's insecure and that's uh, susceptible to an attack. And so what Agent did is it modified this file um, to adjust the parameter. Select star from users where ID equals ID. So it's parameterizing uh, this query instead of SQL.raw. We're using uh, what's known as an ORM, um, Drizzle specifically uh, in Agent. And now someone could not do that. And so, you know, this is just one example of how um, we've introduced security scans to protect your projects. Um, they might pick up other things in your projects. And again, Agent typically builds these apps with best practices in mind, but sometimes mistakes happen. Sometimes these errors get introduced, which is why we partnered with Semgrep to introduce this tool that can help you catch and fix errors like this. And the cool thing is that, you know, Agent just explained to me what this error was, why it was bad. Um, and now I know something to look out for. Um, so keep following along for other uh, new features coming out on Replit. We're continuously releasing um, tools not only to help you build the best apps possible, but also the most secure apps possible. Um, and again, I'm Matt with Replit. Until next time, peace.